everybody, it's Emily Dark Schooling, and today I'm going to be doing a tea tasting with my Plum Deluxe Tea subscription, and we're going to talk about the five books I want to read this fall. So So I've been holding on to this for what feels like ages. <laughs> this actually came early in August, but I've been so busy with work and I just haven't had time to film this video, so it's just been sitting and taunting me. So I'm very excited, so excited to open this today because I could really go for some new tea. So let's see what we have. I am a tea ambassador, for those who don't know, for Plum Deluxe Teas which just means that I'm an affiliate with them and I get a small commission if you were to order anything through my links. So I will be leaving those links down below if you're interested in checking out Plum Deluxe. Their teas are delicious. They are my favorite. I'm obsessed. And every month I get their subscription. So this is the two tea subscription, which means that I get their monthly tea that is exclusive to their subscription and I get just another random tea from their store. This costs $16 a month. If you wanna just get the one tea, it's $10 a month. And so let's see what I have here. So this is the monthly tea, and I'm a little nervous looking at this. This is Cran Raz Refresher Black Tea. I think this is gonna be Sarah's tea. <laughs> this is the most Sarah sounding tea that I've come across. So this is Cran Raz Refresher. So it is black tea, Rubio's tea, cranberries, raspberries, hibiscus, orange peel, raspberry leaves, raspberry essence, love and gratitude. <laughs> so, and it has caffeine. And this is what it looks like. I, I can... So, I don't know. This, this is definitely not my thing. It's a lot of raspberry, which I'm not a fan of. And cranberry, I can... I can sometimes enjoy cranberry, but I don't know about with the raspberry. Oh no, this is definitely not a tea for me. <laughs> but Sarah is gonna love this. You wanna smell it? Right here. Sarah's gonna sneak over off camera and give it a sniff and don't tell me what she thinks because I think she'll like it. I have mixed feelings about it. <gasps> you have mixed feelings? Oh no, Sarah has mixed feelings. Why? I don't know. Oh, I think she's going to have to taste it. Here, let me read you the thing about the Cran Raspberry, Cran Raz Refresher, because they always send a little card about it. So this says, this month we're celebrating our fifth annual Customer Appreciation Month. We're so grateful for the relationship and community we share with you. So it is important for us to take a month and acknowledge that. Our website has a lot of things happening to this month that you won't want to miss. Oh dear, it's like the end of the month and I've missed all of it. So <laughs> I should go check that out later. Um, we thought August was a great month for a refresher tea and we were inspired by one of the more popular fizzy waters. It's got some tartness and zing right at the end. You'll want to grab extras of this one. It's going to be good to share and gift with friends. So, okay, so that's the monthly tea. And then they also sent me berries and cream black tea. Oh, not more berries. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, so this one is black tea, rose hips, hibiscus, apple pieces, blueberry, strawberry, raspberry, cornflower, cinnamon, vanilla, berry flavor, essences, and love and gratitude. And it has caffeine. This one actually doesn't sound as, as bad as the other one did. So... Let's see what I think when I smell it. Oh, this is, this one I kind of like. I'm gonna have to give it a taste and see what I think, but that one has potential, mm. oh, doesn't bad. it? Okay, Sarah approves as well. It looks like a candle. It does smell a bit like a candle. I Yeah, it's got a nice like um, vanilla cakey-ness mm. to it, so. That might be what I drink today. And there's also always sample. And the sample this time is hammock blend black tea. You scream, we scream, we all scream for orange cream iced tea. Okay, this is an orange cream. Black tea, orange peels, natural cream flavor, love and gratitude, and has caffeine. I am obsessed with creamsicles. I haven't had one in forever because I can't have dairy anymore, but I can't really smell this. Sometimes it's hard to smell the samples, but I'm interested to try this because that, that sounds like it could be good. 
So I think I am going to make myself a cup of the berries and cream black tea. And while that steeps, we're going to chat about the five books that I am the most excited to read this fall. So I'll be right back. Okay, so while my tea is steeping, we're going to talk books. So I have been just immersed in work for the last like six or seven months and I haven't had time to read much of anything for fun. So suddenly I finished all the things and now I have all this time and I don't know what to pick up because <laughs> I just, I don't know. I, I have too many options, I guess. I, I've given myself too many choices and I didn't know what to do with myself. So I decided to look around the house and choose five things that I am like really interested to read. So these are the books that I have culled from my shelves. First up, I have Her Body and Other Parties by Carmen Maria Machado. Sarah has been raving about this for ages, and I really want to read it, so this is priority for me right now. I really want to read something a little bit spooky and gothic, and this fits the bill for that as well. So I don't really know too much besides that Sarah loves it. It's feminist, and they're short stories. So I'm just going to go into this kind of blind, but... I'm very excited and I hope that it's good. This is actually a book I literally got yesterday, <laughs> but I've been wanting to read more Sarah Waters and I also really want to participate in the Buzz Word Buzz Buzz Wordathon? Buzz what is it called? Buzz Word Readathon? Buzz Buzzword Readathon, Buzz Wordathon. I don't even know what it's called anymore, but I've never been able to do it because it's always fallen on a time period when I'm busy. <laughs> so, so this year it's at the end of September, I believe, and I really wanted to participate. And as I was looking for things that had night in the title, because that's the, the word for this round, I realized that Sarah Waters has a book with night in the title. The Night Watch. And it's also World War II, and I just got so excited. So I am dying to pick this up, but I'm saving it for the Buzzword Readathon, Buzzwordathon, whatever the heck it's called. <laughs> and I don't really know a lot because the blurb on the back is very short. It's literally this is the blurb. And all I know is that there are four people, three women and a man with a, with a secret, and it's during the war and something happens. <laughs> which tells you nothing, <laughs> but but that's all I need going in. I, I've been dying to read something else by Sarah Waters. I loved Fingersmith so much that I just need more from that. So, very excited to pick this up. Sticking to a theme, I also really want to read Orphan Monster Spy by Matt Killeen because this is World War II and a Jewish assassin and I need to read this so badly. I also know that the sequel comes out in October and I, I keep almost pre-ordering it, but I'm like, stop and read this first and see if you want to read the sequel. So that is the goal. I'm going to try to get to this really soon so that I can decide if I want to pre-order the sequel. But I don't really, I don't know too much. It says on the back, Glorious Bastards meets Mean Girls. I know it has to do with a girl who is Jewish and she can pass as Aryan and she ends up in this elite boarding school with all the like, daughters of the, the Nazi elite and she's infiltrating somehow and I am so interested in reading this. Then I have The Silence of Bones by June Her. This is a murder mystery that takes place in Korea in the 1800s and I don't really know too much more than that and I don't really want to know too much more than that but I've just been very intrigued because I don't think I've read almost anything that takes place in Korea in that time period. Almost everything I've read about Korea has to do with World War II, the Korean War, and then North Korea. So I'm very interested to pick this up and see what I think of it. And then the last book is also the ARG Booked Book Club selection for September. And I'm very excited about this. This is Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. I am dying to pick this up. Sarah finished it yesterday. Yeah, Sarah finished it yesterday and I'm just, I'm very excited for this. Um, I really like that Silvia Moreno Garcia does something different with every book. And this is obviously gothic horror. And I've heard that it's kind of gory and very weird. Would that be accurate, Sarah? Yes, Sarah's nodding her head. Very gory, very weird. <laughs> so, so I'm really intrigued and I'm really excited. And this book is gorgeous. Like, I 
am a huge fan of these colors. I like the jewel tones of the cover. It's very pretty. So, very excited for this. I am going to go check on my tea. It should be ready. And I'm going to let you guys know what I think. I have returned with tea in my, my pretty fallish colored mug. It does. It's got fall colors on it, doesn't it? It looks like cottage core. Cottage core. Okay, so I have the berries and cream black tea, and I'm about to give it a taste. I will say I like how it smells. This isn't bad, but it's probably not going to be something I buy more of. I'm just not a huge fan of the berry flavored teas. I'm trying to think of, has there been a berry tea that I really like. The only one I can think of is the It's Not Easy Being Green. That has blueberries and that is my favorite tea by far that I've gotten from Plum Deluxe. So if you like green tea, I would highly recommend their Easy Being Green tea blend. I'd say if you like berry flavors in your tea, you'd probably love this because it's very, it's mildly berry but it still has a lot of berry flavor to it. Sarah, how's your cran raz? It's actually nice. Oh, <gasps> see, I told you. Okay, Sarah likes the cran raz. I knew it. Sarah loves cranberry juice. <laughs> and I know for a fact when she was at college, like a, she drank exclusively tea and cranberry juice all the time. So I thought she would like this a lot. So I'm glad that she will be making use of that. Do you want to taste? Come here. Actually, trade me. I want to take a sip of the cranberries. I know I'm not going to like it, but for the sake of the video, I must taste. So let's trade. Don't drop the tea. Okay, so now I'm going to taste. Yeah, I don't like how it smells. Huh. I would say the cranberries tastes better than it smells, but I'm still not a fan. <laughs> I, I would not drink this, I don't think, going, I, I don't think I would, it's not terrible. I Here, think, I'm just going to sit it down. I think I'm like yours if I had more sugar in it. Ah, uh, yeah, see, I went light on the sugar because mm -hmm. I'm trying to cut back, but, but that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So I would say this is decent. I will, I'll drink the rest of it. I'm not going to waste it, but this isn't something I'd buy again. So that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to leave a link down below for Plum Deluxe if you're interested in checking them out. I highly recommend it if you like tea because overall I've been thrilled with their selection. Every now and then, like this month, I end up with a couple duds, but oh, I, I'd say I get way more great teas from them than I do duds. So I'm very excited to see what their September teas are going to be because I know we're both in the mood for some fall stuffs. So it'll be really great to see what their fall teas are going to be this year. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Happy reading. Bye!